What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. First, I have to apologize that I have not updated any video for a long period since recently I'm busy on my projects. I will try to upload videos as many as possible. In this video, our topics still focus on patch antenna. In the last video, I shared the basic rules involving patch antenna design. The demonstrated patch antenna has good directivity, but low gain. In this video, I will share some knowledge about properly fitting the patch antenna. There are basically four methods to fit the patch antenna. Micro strip line fade, probe fade, Aperture coupled fade A proximity fade Today I will only talk about inset fading using micro strip line since this method is used more compared with the others and it has more flexibility Probe fading is hard to machine and not easy to integrate with other circuit boards you can see, here is the configuration of the patch antenna. At the edge of the patch, it has pretty high impedance in the level of several hundreds ohms, depending on the width of the patch. For example, the patch antenna I demonstrated here has radiation impedance in the level of 500 ohms, and the impedance will decrease when the feeding point is closer to the center of the patch antenna. Later, I could code a graphical user interface to help us calculate the radiation impedance of the patch antenna and share it. 50 ohms transmission line is commonly used. We need to find the fading point with the 50 ohms radiation impedance. We can select a point with a proper distance from the edge of the patch, where it has the impedance the same as the characteristic impedance of the micro strip line. I can give you a rule of thumb where the fading point is about 1 over 3 of the patch length, we will achieve a good impedance matching. You can see here is the configuration of the patch antenna simulated by CST. Here is the S11 and the realized gain. It is obvious that the maximum gain appears at 2.5 GHz instead of 2.4 GHz, and S11 is lower than 15 dB. We need to increase the patch length a little bit to lower the radiation frequency. We shall also change the fading point to lower the S11 so more power can be delivered into the antenna. In other words, we can increase the efficiency. Here is the final structure of the patch antenna. The realized gain is higher than 6 dBi, and the radiation frequency is 2.4 GHz. We increase the efficiency. I want to point out one important thing. By default, when you check the far field, it presents the directivity instead of a realized gain. We need to choose it to show the realized gain. I had ever noticed that some engineers mistakenly read the, the default directivity as a realized gain. By the way, here is another tip. CST can help us design a variety of a transmission line with the desired characteristic impedance. I will use micro strip line as an example. Run micros, calculate, calculate analytical line impedance. It can help us design micro strip line, coaxial cable, and other transmission lines. I hope this design can inspire you when you work on your project. In next video, we can move ahead to patch antenna array.
Thanks for your time.